Uh, not really. I think um, I, I liked the intensity that we came out with. I thought we were alert and active defensively because Greensboro, they move and cut hard and they dribble handoff, quick ball screens, and then they're bigs when they hit a couple threes. That's always an issue. But I just liked how continuous we were and, um, you know, the balance. I think, you, you know, we, that's going to be significant for us, our balance scoring. Got some good looks that Jack was active. Uh, Jared and Isaiah, those were the three we had available tonight on the front court, and that was good for the, the new guys to get some opportunities. Mike Barber. I'm sure that the rotation is still evolving as you go, but with two guys out, was this an accurate look at what you want to do, or was this very skewed because obviously you didn't have Yeah, I, that remains to be seen. It'll be how guys practice, how they perform, um, just how they're looking, but obviously Mamadi and Austin, uh, you know, bring some things to the table. But I thought, you know, Isaiah and Jack and um, and uh, Jared, sorry, um, did a nice job tonight. But you need four guys. There's foul trouble, perhaps five. It'll depend on matchups. So uh, it'll just be what's available. But there's, you know, some quality depth there. And uh, again, based on who's looking good, who's performing, and what's happening. Doug, and then Jack. What were your concerns about UNC? Offensively, before the game, they scored 80 points or more. Nine games last year, returned three double-figure scores. Yeah, and it's 42-17 at the half. Yeah, if they return four double figure scores because uh, conference play, so 9.8. But uh, no, that was what I was concerned with. Um, I rounded up. So, but four returning starters, and again in conference play, they had those guys that scored, and um, you know they were crafty. They didn't have the depth, obviously, um, but they. They just they the way they use the dribble handoff, the way they ball screen, and they really run their stuff with pace. I thought we're going to have to be sharp. There's so many unknowns when you start the year. You don't know the new guys they have. You don't know how we'll perform. Uh, so I, I think it was the unknowns, and probably more. I'm like that, and every coach is. I don't know how our team's going to be. A lot of unknowns, but with this team, us this year, I think there's even more unknowns because of the lack of um, the amount of newcomers, the lack of experienced guys. So. I just didn't know what to expect. I just want them to battle and play hard each possession. I said, you're not going to win every one, but let's see what we can do. And uh, I like the defensive mindset and the sharing of the ball in the first half specifically. Yep. And then Andrew. And then Mariel, uh, he was very productive offensively late last yeah. season coming off the bench. Yeah. He gave us a spark. I, I do. Um, but, you know, I mean, Mariel could start. You, you could make a case, and this will all evolve. But right now, it's one thing I challenged Mariel. I said, just let's, let's be a, a six man that comes off and gives us some energy and a spark. And I thought defensively he was good, and he gave us those baskets. He can play, uh, manufacture his own shot. So that was nice to see. I thought he did a really good job. And starting, that's to me, I know it matters to the kids, but he's. I could make a case for that, but I like his role right now, but we'll see how it evolves. Andrew, you closed the first half there at 17 up and run. Kyle gave you a spark a little bit, and then you got hand a couple balls, a couple steals on yeah. the other end. What you like about his play, maybe particularly defensively? I know he has an offensive reputation. Right. Do you like that both ends of the floor? Yeah, no, he let it come offensively. You know, he made some nice passes. Uh, you know, got some deflections defensively, and he just, he was solid. He really was. So it was good experience, and um, he, you know, he when he, sets up to shoot it, it's got a chance. You can see when it leaves its hand, you're always thinking that thing is, is going down. But uh, he just had a nice pace about himself and saw some things. So I thought that was a good first game, first opportunity for him. And even for Ty, you know, Ty went in and that kid was quick. Ty was guarding at the end. Um, so I, I liked, I thought it was sound, especially in the first half. Second half, there's uh, some, some things that I think can be pointed out that we'll address and we'll keep doing it. We play pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. And then they didn't score on 15 consecutive trips. Did, did you think you ratcheted it up defensively, or was it just a matter of them making some? Yeah. Well, they made some. They got to the lane, and then those bigs would fan out um, their, their fours and fives and knock down those threes. That's a challenge. Um, and they did. They would dribble handoff, or they turn the corner, so they're getting into our paint, and we're sucking in, and then they're throwing it to those the their four and fives loosening and those guys bang the shots that's that's a challenge and then I thought we got a little sounder at not letting the ball get so deep uh, into the paint and um, for the rest of the first half and then they missed some some easy ones and we got some turnovers by being aggressive and flying around whether it was off ball screens post traps uh, Kyle tipping some balls and you mentioned um, and did a decent job on the glass so I thought 
that's that's why I said there, teams are going to have many runs, they're going to hit buckets, but if you won't yield and just say every possession they're going to have to earn, um, usually that turns out the right way. What's your philosophy on the red shirts going forward? Yeah, right now the plan is um, for obviously I would have played Jay Huff and DeAndre Hunter, um, but we talked about that, and the plan is to to redshirt again. They they both have made it difficult because they're they're guys that uh, they have big upsides and. Um, I just I think there's a a chance they could help us this year, but I think to address the strength, to get after it, tighten up some things, I think it could really be positive for their future because um, I know what their goals are. I think it's it's that, but they're you could make a case, but again, um, opportunity to progress as a, a playing time wise. You know, there's so many guys you can't play 13 guys. We talked about that, and so I'm excited about you know them getting after it. For right now, and is everything anything in stone, or is, is this in stone? Nothing's in stone. Things can happen, but for right now, I think this is the sound move. That this is obviously we talked about it, and they're on board with it. Okay, I've got time for two more, Jerry, and then Kip. Uh, Tony, you mentioned recently that a lot of the guys really worked hard on their games in the off season. Is Darius? Uh, did he really improve his three point? Ability? I mean, all the guys worked hard, and yeah, he showed that he um, played well in Spain. And uh, was solid in our two scrimmages, and you know that uh, we have such a you know a different kind of team this year. So to get some perimeter shooting to stretch it from him, uh, his ability to slash, and um, he, he's improved his body. Hopefully, you can see that he's a lot stronger. Um, yeah, no, I think that showed. And yeah, when he what was he three of four tonight? Or start bringing my readers up here as I get older and older. Uh, so it was, yes, he was three of four from three. No, he's worked on it, and it's um, that's a big piece because he can get to the lane too, also, and use his length. Okay, Mike, did you have a final one? Uh, you, you had mentioned that you don't have a shutdown perimeter guy the way you had with Malcolm, who could play all the different spots. Did you see anything tonight from Mariel or anybody to make you think maybe they're taking steps towards? I think everybody's got. We, we've got to be sounder in our system. We've got to be that. One's got to be on the ball, and the other guy's got to be helping. But I want those guys to embrace it. I want Devin. I want Mariel. You know, Darius can do some things anticipation-wise. London, all of them. Um, it, it's going to be tested. We'll find out soon enough. And uh, but I, I like I liked how they all work defensively. Uh, for the most part, I liked how Devin rebounded. How many rebounds did Devin have? He only had four, but I thought he went in there and got some. Um, so. We're going to need that because of the talented perimeter players you see and the plays guys can make. Thank you.